In terms of the speech areas of our brain, when we're speaking, the process starts in Wernicke's area because it's Wernicke's area where we formulate the plan of what we're going to say. Once this occurs, a message is sent to our Broca's area, which executes the plan via activation of the vocal apparatus in our motor cortex. Now, when we're repeating a word we hear, the process starts in the auditory cortex in the temporal lobe, which processes the sound. We then move to the Wernicke's area, which, like I said before, creates a plan of what we're going to say, or, and then transmits a message to the Broca's area, which produces the speech via activation of the vocal apparatus in the motor cortex. Different process when we're speaking a written word. The process starts in the visual cortex, which processes the text in the occipital lobe. Then we move to the, the angular gyrus, which is a specialised area of the brain that processes text and creates an auditory code, moving through to the Wernicke's area, which plans or formulates the plan of what we're going to speak. And again, like we talked about before, message is sent to the Broca's area, which produces the speech via the vocal apparatus in the motor cortex. So let's get a bit more specific. For 95% of the population, Broca's area is located in the left frontal lobe, just near the motor cortex, and its major function is speech production via activation of the motor neurons involved in the control of speech. A good way of developing a better understanding of the differences between Broca's area and Wernicke's area is to look at what happens when we develop aphasia in either area. And aphasia refers to a speech impairment caused by brain damage. So victims of Broca's or expressive aphasia, they know what they want to say, they just have great difficulty communicating it. So their speech tends to be very slow and deliberate because of the difficulty they have forming the words required to produce clear and fluent speech. Their sentences tend to lack prepositions and conjunctions and are quite simple in their grammatical structure. In terms of their ability to understand others, they can comprehend the speech of others, providing they are producing sentences with simple grammatical structure. They do have difficulty understanding others when they produce sentences of complex grammatical structure, whether that be in a written or oral sense. Now, Wernicke's area, on the other hand, for 95% of the location, is located just near the auditory cortex in the left temporal lobe. And very simple way of understanding its major function is we call it the language comprehension center. Now in terms of the sentences produced by someone who suffers from Wernicke's aphasia, they have no difficulty producing fluent speech. The sentences tend to be normal in grammatical structure, syntax, and produced at a normal rate, but they leave out key content words and substitute random or invented words obviously without awareness so their sentences are largely incoherent and they have a tendency to talk excessively. They also have difficulty understanding not only the spoken word but also reading the written word. So let's summarise by looking at some of the key differences between a victim of Broca's aphasia versus Wernicke's aphasia. In terms of the sentence structure for someone suffering from Broca's aphasia, their sentences tend to be short, made up of mainly verbs and nouns, lacking key function words, lacking prepositions and conjunctions. In terms of their speech patterns, their speech tends to be slow and deliberate due to the difficulty forming the words that they want to communicate, but their speech is Meaningful, it's just going to be quite difficult getting it out. The victim is aware of their condition and frustrated by it. In terms of someone suffering from Wernicke's aphasia, well, their sentences are mainly comprised of function words. Their speech is fluent, but it's largely incoherent because it's lacking those key content words. The victims are generally unaware of their condition and thus are substituting random or invented words and... They do have difficulty understanding both the written word and the speech of others.